I have to share this classic car trip with you. So a while back, I was in Vegas and I ran into two redheads and two brunettes. I walked up to them and introduced myself as Jack. After a bit of conversating, they say Jack seemed like a great guy. We have a poker game going on at 673 King Street with a cover charge of $25. And for some reason, I was partially deaf and I said, what? They said $25. I'm like, all right, okay. Then I got a call from an unknown number. I'm like, who's this? This is Jack speaking. He said, Jack, it's Dan. I'm like, dope. I know it, Dan. Dude, come on through. There's a poker game going on at 700-something King Street. And the girls were like, no, no, no. It's 673 King Street. And I'm like, oh, sorry about that, Dan. It's 673 King Street with a cover charge of $25. And this guy, he has the audacity to tell me that he only has 10 bucks. All right? Now, I've known Dan for quite some time. I know him to be a liar when it comes to money. So I'm like, dude, I know you have more than that. Yeah, all right. I have 40 bucks. Are you going to spot me for the game? I said, okay, I can do that. So we get there, and they're like, Jack, since you're new here, we're going to let you do the dealing. But since we don't really trust you because, again, you're new, we're going to cut the deck for you. So they cut, give the deck a cut for me, and then I started to deal. Of course, being a card mechanic, I knew what I could deal to everyone. So I looked at the first guy. I wanted to be nice. I gave him a full house with two fours and three eights. He was pretty grateful. I looked at the guy next to him, okay? I looked at the guy next to him, and he's like, I see the fire. I see the fire in his eyes. So I decided to give him four nines. All right. He was thrilled. And before the game even started, I actually had a conversation with uh, with Dan and uh, he told me that he wanted four of a kind aces. So I gave him an eight along with the four aces. At this point, he starts reaching for the pot. I'm like, dude, am I a joke to you? He's like, dude, Jack, there's no possible way you can win this hand. How are you going to beat four of a kind aces? Well, I said, I, you know, I may be a good friend, but I'd like to win. So I saved a straight flush for myself. Boom.